Hey guys, welcome back to my channel The Glitter Glam. For those who are here for the very first time, hello my loves. I am Momita and I create content on beauty and skincare here on YouTube. And as the festive season has already started here in India, so I'll be creating this beautiful traditional Bengali makeup look for Durga Puja which is just around the corners. This is a very simple, elegant and wearable makeup look which is easy for you to create. And I created this using all ultra affordable drugstore makeup. For your convenience, the details of all the products used in creating this look are mentioned down in the description box below. Also, please take in a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell icon to keep yourself updated to my posts, in case you haven't till now. And now, without any further ado, let's get to start it. My skin is already prepped almost 30 minutes before starting my base makeup and to prime it further to start my base makeup, I will prime my face first using the Inside Cosmetics Long Lasting Oil Free Primer and this one is a pore minimizing primer. It instantly fills in your pores and gives a very smooth blurred out effect. With this, I am only going around my nose and forehead. I have got a pretty decent skin and very less minute pores just around my nose so I just like to focus in the problematic area specifically. Next to take the base makeup a notch higher and in order to achieve a very natural glow and a dewy base I'm going in with the Real Makeup Base Highlighting Primer by Swiss Beauty in the shade O2 Golden Tint. So after dotting the primer on my entire face I'm blending it using my fingers and this one I feel more than a primer works as a strobing cream. It definitely has a little sticky feel but will not fill in your pores but this will certainly add glow to your base and make it look dewy. And to keep my lips moist and hydrated, I'm going to apply some lip balm. Next, to prime my eyelids, I'm using the Instant Age Rewind Concealer by Maybelline in the shade 120 Light. This will cancel out any kind of darkness on the lids and give an even toned base to do the eye makeup. And to blend it out, I'm using a deep angled brush by Cuffs and Lashes. Now, if you do not prime your eyelids before the eye makeup, the shadows won't blend out easily and will give you a very patchy look which you do not want. And while the concealer is still tacky and to prevent it further from creasing into the fine lines, I will set it using the banana powder from the Wet n Wild's Mega Glow Contouring Palette. Moving on to the eye makeup, for eyeshadows I'll be using a very affordable drugstore palette and this is the mask I belong in your purse eyeshadow in the shade Smoke It Up. This palette is perfect for creating neutral eye looks as well as smoky eye looks. So taking in the light brown shade and a blending brush, I'm going to start building up my crease. This is going to be my transition shade as well. So starting from the outermost corner, I will keep on blending the eyeshadow in my crease area. Next, taking in this deeper brown shade with the same brush, I'm going to intensify my outer corners and this will also give in some depth to the crease. And going in by layering eyeshadows in this manner creates a gradient that gives in a very beautiful smoky look. Next, taking in a smaller blending brush, I'm going to take this warm orangish brown shade and will place it in my outer corners and my crease. Not only will this give in some depth, it will also give in an ombre kind of an effect. And then in order to avoid any harsh edges so that the shadows look well blended into one, I'm going to blend out everything in my crease using a clean big blending brush. For the lids, I have taken this champagne shade on a flat shader brush and I'm going to apply this in the inner one thirds of the lid space. I did not find the shimmers of the palette as pigmented as the matte eyeshadows, so to intensify the pigment payoff, I did spray some fixing spray on the brush and applied the shimmers using the wet brush. So a quick tip to make your shimmers work is either to use in a wet brush or use your fingers to apply them. Next I have taken this golden shade and using my index finger I am applying it in my central lid space. The shimmers were not that pigmented in the palette so I tried applying them with my finger and I really had to struggle in the process but I could make them work somehow and after applying the shimmer with my finger I will carve out my crease neatly using a flat shader brush. Next 
next using a small pencil brush i am going to smoke out the warm orangish brown eyeshadow closer to my lower lash line to tight line my lower waterline i am using the sugars intense coal of honor coal pencil in the shade black and to intensify the kajal, I'll take the black eyeshadow from the palette and will stamp it closer to my lower lash line using a flat definer brush. This will also make the kajal long lasting and will ensure that it does not move or smudge. And to highlight my brow bone and the inner corners of my eyes, I'm going to take the champagne shade using a small pencil brush. And the traditional Bengali makeup is not complete without a nice winged eyeliner. And for the same, I'm going to draw out a defined winged liner using the Swiss Beauty Solid Felt Tip Eyeliner in the shade Jet Black. And this liner is extremely high on pigmentation. The tip is very precise, just what is needed for a perfect winged liner and ultra affordable. So those looking for a good quality pigmented eyeliner, I highly recommend this one to you. So do check it out. And to prep my eyelashes before coating them with a coat of mascara, I'm going to curl them using an eyelash curler by Vega. And for those fluttery eyelashes and to finish up with the eye makeup, I will be coating my lashes with a generous coat of mascara. And for this, I'm using the Wet n Wild's Double XL Mascara. So using this, I'll coat both my upper as well as lower lashes. And then later on, I have applied some false eyelashes off camera. The lashes I used are Forming Lashes by Cal Alice and the link to which I will provide in the description box below. Moving on to the base makeup, for foundation I will be using a concoction of two shades that is Maybelline Superstay in the shade 310 Sun Beige and the Miss Claire Everyday Foundation in shade BE04 Buff. The Maybelline Superstay foundation is a full coverage one and this shade is also a little darker for my skin tone at present whereas the Miss Claire one is a shade lighter for my skin tone and this one is also a sheer to medium coverage foundation. So I've taken in almost one pump of each and applied after mixing using a flat foundation brush and by mixing these two shades I could make out a shade somewhere in between which was almost somewhat closer to my skin tone and to blend it out I'm using a damp beauty sponge by Miniso today. You can use in a flat top kabuki brush or a beauty blender whatever makes you comfortable to blend in your foundation. A sponge or a beauty blender however tends to absorb in a lot of your product giving in a very natural finish which I want for this dewy makeup look. And while applying your foundation, do not forget your neck as you want your face and neck to look like one piece. And after I finish up blending the foundation and to throw in some light on the high planes of my face so that it photographs well in this festive season, I'm going to brighten my under eyes using the Maybelline's Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade 120 Light. So using this, I'm going to go on the usual high points of my face that is in my under eyes, on the tip and bridge of my nose, my forehead, around the nose and lips and on the cheek and chin. And to blend it all out, I'm using the same damn beauty sponge. I use this as a brightening concealer just to bring in some light on the high points of my face. I'm also wearing colored eye contacts today and the one that I'm wearing is Pack Iris Lenses in the shade gray. Up next to set in my under eyes and the rest of the places I applied in the concealer, I'm using a loose setting powder by Swiss Beauty in the shade banana. So I'm going in by gently dabbing it in my under eye and the rest of the other areas using a fluffy powder brush. This will prevent my concealer to crease in and also brighten my under eyes. This technique is also known as baking. So I will allow the bake to sit in there for some time. Meanwhile, I finish up with the contouring. Next for contouring, I decided to go in with a very light powder contour and for that I'm taking in the Wet n Wild's Mega Glow Contouring Palette. Now this one is a really good quality contouring palette in an affordable budget and this palette comes in with a compressed banana powder which I used in today to set my lids. So I'm using an angled fluffy contouring brush and I'm going in at the usual places that is the hollows of my cheek, the circumference of my hair closer to my hairline and my jawline and I will blend it out using the brush itself. I like to take it down a tad little bit to my neck also. Next using a flat contouring brush by Wet n Wild I'm going to chisel out my nose and make it look structured and sharp and the trick to get a chisel nose is by drawing in two lines with your brush starting from where your eyebrow starts along the either side of your nose bridge and blend it. The closer these two lines are the more chiseled your nose looks. And then using a fluffy powder brush I'm going to dust off the loose powder bake. 
Next for blush, I'll mix both the pink and the coral shade from the Nykaa's Malibu Barbie blush palette and the brush that I'm using is some nameless random brush that I purchased from Amazon. So I'll use it generously on the apples of my cheeks and a little bit on the tip of my nose and with whatever is left over, I'm going to swirl it over my chin and my forehead and using a blush all over like this, I always feel just puts in everything together and gives in a very natural look. To highlight the high planes of my face, I'm using the Nykaa Shimmer Brick in the shade Good Old Gold. So using a fluffy highlighting brush, I'm going to go on the usual high points, that is my cheekbone, my temples, forehead, tip and bridge of my nose, cupid's bow and a little bit on my chin. Next for my lips, I'm going in my usual way by mixing in two lip colors. So at first I have taken the Pose HD lipstick in the shade 004 Burgundy. So using this, I will carefully go on in the outer perimeters of my lips. And this is a deep berry toned maroonish red, ideal for such festive looks. And then to fill in the central lip space, I will use in the cult favorite that is MAC Ruby Woo from the Retro Matte collection of MAC lipsticks and blend in both the shades together. With that, we finish up with the face makeup and to set and seal everything in, I used in the Swiss Beauty Makeup Fixing Spray. Now using a makeup fixing spray right after makeup just melts in all the powders and other products used in and locks in your makeup making it long lasting. So I have spritzed this all over my face and then I'm fanning it down. And this you guys is the final completed look. I have my Bindi, Jewelry, Gajra and my traditional white red bordered sari on. This look is just on point for Durga Ashtami. I'm also wearing colored eye contacts in the shade grey by Pac Iris and falsies by Cal Alice. I really love the way this turned out. So do let me know your thoughts on this look by commenting down in the comment section below. The description box down below has the details of all the products used in this tutorial. It was my absolute pleasure creating this look for you guys. Thank you all for your immense love and support. I shall see you guys with a brand new one in my next tutorial. Until then, do take in very good care of yourselves. Dugga, dugga.